Hello and welcome to a quick demonstration of the NetSwap's new virtualization capability. I want to start this demonstration by simply launching a browser and navigating to a local IP address where I have a NetSwap plugged in. In this case it's 10.1.1.67. The typical HR admin with the password to password applies and when we log into the NetSwap we've got our screen that shows us that we're on an i3 machine, i3 processor with 4 gigs of RAM. This machine is a little upscaled from a typical NetSwap so that we do have the ability to run a virtual machine. You'll also see that it's designated as a VM version. So that tells you that you've got the code that will do virtualization. I've got a couple of four terabyte hard drives mirrored in this system, but where the real interesting thing happens is down here under virtualization. If I click on virtual machines, you see that I've created a virtual machine in advance called NVR1. Now what I did is created the new NVR using the buttons that you see above by just clicking on a plus and I got a new virtual machine. I then selected install a utility OS on that virtual machine and I used a USB key which actually if I click on disks here you'll see that the USB key is still plugged in. So here's a little 16 gig uh, Windows formatted USB key that I used to install the Windows on the machine. Disk 1 and 2 are the two removable disks that are set up as a mirror one. So what we're looking at here is that we've got a pre-installed operating system on NVR1 and for the speed of the demo I'm just going to start that that's already pre-installed with an OS. Now what happens is nothing much looks like it's changed. It indicates that the state of the machine is now running but it also tells me that I can get to that machine through port 5901 using a VNC viewer. Now you can download VNC, it's a free piece of software, but we've made that easy to do for you. Literally if you click this link, what will happen is that you will download the, the type VNC viewer. In this case I think I'm going to save it and what we should see is that we've downloaded the VNC. If I click on that now I've got a small little type VNC and if you're not familiar with type VNC it's like many of uh, the remote software packages what we're effectively doing is remoting into the virtual machine and we're doing that to the same IP address that the NetSwap is on so remember we went into 10.1.1.67 when we started this demo and this port passes through the VNC traffic I put a password of blank on this so all I really need to do is hit enter and you'll see what looks to be a Windows machine and it is a Windows machine if we click the type VNC to send a control alt delete here uh, click the wrong one that one uh, I believe I put a password on this box of netvideo84 so now we're logging in and you see we have a, a Windows machine but what's what's interesting about this is you've now got a backup device in which you can send your backup jobs to the NAS and you can if you want use a utility operating system such as this Windows operating system with something like uh, say StorageCraft if that's what you're using for backup you could run Image Manager which is the piece of software StorageCraft provides to roll images up or do what's called synthetic roll up for the backup and you can do that right on the NetSwap even though it's got its core operating system that handles removable drives, you now have the ability to have a utility OS that, that you can do things. To demonstrate this even further, what I did is I uh, loaded up a piece of software called Blue Iris, which happens to be a network video recording software. So what we're going to see if I launch that application is that um, I've literally got an NVR, a network video recorder, that are that is running inside a virtual machine, and you can see that I actually have a camera so the network video recorder has only got one camera and as part of this demo I'm uh, running a recording capability in this network video recorder in the virtual machine storing its data to the NetSwap. Now the NetSwap can take that data and it can replicate it between mirrors, it can replicate it off-site so you can see the power of having the ability to have a small Windows utility OS all kinds of possibilities open up. Well, that does it for the demo of the virtualization capability of the NetSwap. If you have any questions, visit our website or give us a call. Our website's at hi-rely.com. You can find our phone numbers and contact information there. Thank you very much.